Hey there, Simone here with Bulletproof Business Growth, as always, with some ideas and insights what to pay attention to when you're growing and scaling your business. So we had a little bit of a tech glitch yesterday and this didn't work out, but we're trying again today. So the last few weeks, we've been going over the system, the system for how to build a self-led team that can really truly take your vision and build it for you. So we focused on four main steps so far. The first week we talked about how do you master this new quarter we're in Q2. So we talked about strategic focus. We talked about adding metrics and how to add accountability in so that we can really truly see, you know, what's working right now. So that means we have to be in planning. We have to give the team the clarity that they need to take things forward and also the clear metrics again we have to give them the KPIs that they need so they can measure what it means to be successful so that was week two one week two we talked about delegation reinvented so this is where we take the basic steps of, of delegation and rethink it so that we can truly build that self-led team what it means is to progress from the basic kind of old school idea of delegation, which for most people just means you're chunking it down, you're, you're spelling it out, you're just giving people step-by-step -step tasks, but then we actually take that and elevate it so that you are able to delegate entire business areas and people own entire business areas. So that means, again, we go back to clarity. People need the clarity from you. They need the training from you. They need you to empower them because then they can execute and excel. Then in week, week three, we talked about how we kind of take it from going from chaos to calm. So we do that by having clear accountability systems in place. And we focus on the three P's to start with, which is priorities, people and processes. That means we help people have really clear lanes. So that's not just a job description. That's really understanding, Hey, what are the goals and expectations? What is the area my, that I'm responsible for? What's the scope of my work that I'm responsible for? And what does that actually look like? So again, we need a really clear plan for that. Every single person on the team needs a clear, clear plan for their role, for their, responsibilities and then we can add the strategy in which means now we have a shared system we have shared accountability and that means we're bringing in a whole lot of visibility which is super important because now we all know where's everybody at what do we need how can we support each other and um, th that's the accountability system that will really help you to gain some serious momentum then last week we talked about hiring up how we build that leveraged leadership system and part of that is really that big mindset shift that tr really transforms hiring retention and growth without it meaning more work on you and we've seen this particular piece to be something that really holds our clients back when they haven't made that mindset shift because when you think about it, right, when you have a, a basic team that you might even think is good, that are sort of getting things done, but in general, all the firefighting, all the fixing mistakes, all the strategy, all the momentum is up to you because they're just following you. That means when you're thinking about growth, growth and expansion, there's a lot on your mind because in your mind, it just means more work for me. How am I going to get that done? And what we see is that it, it, very often leads to thinking small, self-sabotaging, holding yourself back and missing a lot of opportunities and a lot of up possibilities for that bigger expansion because it just seems like you're never going to get it done. So that's a lot of times what really keeps people in the same place and what keeps them from stepping in and growing. So they're just kind of maintaining uh, where they are, which of course is not we, what we generally want. So now the hardest part really is when we talk about getting to this place where you can tackle explosive growth is the bigger picture. 
Because for most of our clients, what they're living by is a short term view. I mean, for, for many of them, they can barely handle tomorrow. Next week is a really big stretch. And when we're talking about planning and being proactive for a month, that is like already kind of scary. And then, so of course we see panicking when we think about a quarter and then even thinking bigger, like the year that's total deer in the headlights sort of situation. So, but what it comes all down to is when you are just in this short term planning execution, when that's all how, how you're thinking, when that's all you're focused on, that means you're just looking at what's in front of you. That just means you're getting things done as they come at you. So now we have to really shift from this being the, the reactive business owner to being the proactive business owner, which means stabilizing the business, getting out of disorganization, stabilizing it, because at that point you can finally look further down the road, which is super, super important for growing and scaling because you can't grow and scale when you're just looking at what's right in front of you. You need to build that long term view. It's one of the most important things to get to in business because that's when you can truly be intentional and proactive when you can build out a roadmap that everybody can buy in on. And it also brings a lot of calm and a lot of certainty to your team because they can look at, all right, this person actually knows what they're talking about. They have a plan. They're going for the real thing. So this is really where it all changes when you go from kind of that short term focus to having a true crystal clear vision. And look, when I say vision, what I'm talking about is your three year strategic plan. It's that big picture that helps everybody understand, Hey, where's the business going? What does that mean? How does that look like? How are all, how do all the pieces fit together? And of course the most important question everybody is asking, what does that mean for me? How do I fit into that? How do I impact that? How, how do I become a part of this? And look, I mean, despite popular belief, people's performance, high performing people, they're rarely motivated by just money. Of course, we all need to pay our bills. Everybody has to be paid fairly. But beyond that, when you look at truly high performers for them, it's most of the time about the impact that they can make the success that they can drive so that they truly feel like they're being productive. Their productivity is leading somewhere. It actually has value and it impacts company strategy actually fi fits into that. And when you can give your, your team that kind of plan, it means that they can actually see your strategy to base their own strategy on and the higher up you hire. So if you are hiring for any type of, leadership, managerial, especially C-suite role, anything in the executive realm, you've got to have that in place because otherwise you're wasting a phenomenal amount of time, money, and resources for everybody. And people will bounce because they cannot, at that point, they will not see that they can be successful in your organization, no matter how big it is. So this is really truly where it all changes because what a vision is not is what a lot of people think that little blurb on your website. That's nothing. That's a vision statement. So what it truly, what a vision truly does is it presents the big picture. It, like I said, it, it gives them the clarity that they need. It gives them the strategy. It gives them the certainty because when they see it, they can buy in. And that also means they understand, Hey, this is the most important questions all humans ask what's in it for me? Why am I doing this? So this is a really, really important question to answer for them because that means they can make better decisions. They can make decisions on their own. They can come up to the next level and they truly understand how their role, their scope of role and what they do every day contributes to company strategy, which is the most important question that they constantly ask. So, your clear vision means that you get a bot in team. When you have a bot in team, that means they actually show up, they're responsible for, they're accountable, and you can actually rely on that they will get the job done. Now that team can now catapult your business to the next level. So 
everything we've already talked about is absolutely essential to reach that point of stability. But what it doesn't do is it does not ignite passion. And that's what you need. You need passion to reach that level of explosive growth, which also means that every single person on your team now has to be aligned with that mindset. They have to have a growth mindset because that's what it means to be an A player. And you can't get into a place of explosive growth when you have holes and gaps in your team. So this is really about getting deliberate about where you're going because you know, unless you really do this the right way and look, writing a vision the right way is truly an art form. Most people have no idea how to do it. It's, it's something that you have to bring, you're, you're the painter, you're the artist, you're painting the vision for them because unless you do that, all they see is bullets and that is not inspiring. That is not something that gets them to go the extra mile and show up above and beyond. So what they really need from you is that you paint a vivid picture for them to engage not just their hearts, not just their heads, but their hearts, because that's really how we're, what we're going for. Many of you have probably heard that Maya Angelou quote where she says, look, it's not, people won't remember what, how, what you told them, but what they will remember is how you made them feel. Right? So this is not about the words. This is about conjuring up emotion, helping them understand how it all fits together, how the whole game goes and how they're a part of that. So this is all about the engagement part. So what you want to do is you want to start with your big why. You want to start with giving them your purpose, why you started this business, why you're doing what you're doing. For many of you, you've been doing what you've been doing for many, many years. So your team has to know, hey, what gets you out of bed in the morning? Why are you still doing this despite all the trials and tribulations? So we have to help them understand what the ideal future looks like. And so you have to make it in, into a colorful, emotional piece of writing. So because the way we do vision, look, most of the time when, I, when, I, when people tell me they have a vision, it's um, that blurb on their website. At most, it's like half a page of where they said a little bit. But when our clients get done with this, this is an eight to 10 page document that's beautiful, that's branded, that has graphic, that is truly a joy to read. And that helps people really understand the big picture, which is exactly what we're going for. So, because once that's done, we can reverse engineer this and back map the years. So we know where we're going three years from now. So what would we have to achieve by the end of year two? And then what would we have to achieve by the end of year one so that we're on track? And then we can take that further and go into our more specific short-term planning to make sure we actually have the plan translate into action. But when you do it like this, it means they get inspired because they understand how the pieces fit together and how the roadmap pl plays out. It's giving them a playbook. And that also means that cuts le dramatically down on overwhelm. And I know many of you have said to me before, like, well, you know, when I come to my team with this audacious vision that really stretches the the thinking that we've had so far aren't they going to think i'm crazy because look at where we are right now and you want me to tell them we're going far over there well you're going to back that up by having a really good planning process for the short short term actions in place like we've talked about over the last few weeks so this is where you can actually show your team you are a leader who, who understands exactly where you're going with this and how to do it with a short-term planning in place. So you have to show them the innovation, the milestones, and the strat strategic moves that you're about to take and also the, to dissolve the silos in the company because now you're putting it all together for them. You're showing them how all the f pieces fit together, play together to get to that larger outcome. So... And you want to give them tangible examples that help them understand that demystify this whole idea of having an audacious plan. 
So once you did that, then it's time to start living it where, you know, you, you've, you've written this, you, you created this beautiful document that <clears throat> is a joy to look at and read that truly draws people in. Now you have to live it and talk it up. That's the only way that thing actually will bring you value. You've put a lot of effort into it, a lot of time. Now the, the only thing that only really works is when you live it. So you have to bring it alive and a lot of time you can do that by consistently talking about the state of the union where you compare, hey, this is where we started and this is where we are right now. It's never about comparing yourself to others. It's about comparing yourself to yourself within a given time frame. I just talked to one of our clients this last week who has been with us for a long time, a few years now, and um, he was talking to his CFO and he um, he pulled out his vision from when we first when we start first started working together, which is about three years ago. And his CFO was looking at the vision, and he looked at our client. He's like, "Oh my God, I can't believe this! You you got all this done. This is all this is on here, and this is all how it exactly happened. And now we're off on the next iteration of what the next three years, three years look like." So. At that point, when you have that, you become your team's cheerleader because, look, if you're not inspired about your, your, your business and your vision and where you're going with this, how will they? You know, a lot of times I say this to our clients, a lot of times our clients come in a little bit burned out, a little crispy around the edges, have kind of lost their mojo. And this work is so what brings it back because if you are not inspired, how will they be? Right. So this is where you get to share your enthusiasm, but also recognize the accomplishments that you've already made. This is your go your absolute roadmap that guides all your decisions. Just talked to somebody earlier who was talking about all these great ideas that he had has. And I was like, hey, Mario, is, are these ideas? I know that they're great ideas, but are they in your vision? And he's like, mm, yeah, not really. So this is also the, the plan, the map that keeps you honest, because for a lot of you, great ideas are actually not what's propelling you forward. That's what's holding you back at this point, because it just gets diluted. It confuses things. You're trying to do too many things at once instead of focused on what is truly that sweet spot where you can grow and scale. So it, it's, it's the thing that keeps you honest. It's the thing that keeps your team honest. We've had our clients tell us that once they get f far enough into the process, their team will actually say to them when they come up with something shiny, new and beautiful, they're like, hey, is this on our living vision? And then um, he has to say no. And the team gets to say, okay, that's not what we're doing. So you wanna make sure this is your map, your roadmap, your playbook that guides all the decision. And then you want to make it very accessible to them so that the, they don't just get it from talking to you. They get it from talking to all your leaders. This is where we have to have leaders at every level who are in a structure where this is what guides every single department's decision. This is what guides everybody, every, every team's decisions. You know, have it in a, in a video. One of our clients made a beautiful video out of him talking about his vision because he's truly inspired about it. So have a video, have a podcast, have blogs, have mind maps that help people understand in all different forms and shapes how this is showing up in their everyday life and how they can take it forward. So you want to, there's so many great uses once you've created this crystal clear vision. And one of the biggest ones is hiring. You know, especially in this hiring climate, you want to have, you want to be able to filter out people quickly and move fast. So you want to have something right at the beginning that lets you know, hey, is this the right person or not? And your vision and how people respond to that vision is a great filter. And it's also a great tool in your onboarding conversation. It's a great tool for every growth conversation because you can always ask, hey, how do you see yourself in this? So for your one-on-ones, for your growth plans, that really helps them to also look further out, take on more responsibility and grow in their role, which of course is what you want because 
that means it's a win-win situation for everybody. So you are now the person who can lead truly from the front with enthusiasm and excitement. So again, this has to have this has to happen at the very top with you, but then every single key person on your team, every single leader on your team has to also bring this to the team as well so that they are you're training them and then they're training the rest of the t the team. So you train the trainers. That's the biggest contribution that you make where this is where you put the glue in the team where everything gets held together and everybody has shared responsibility from a shared vision so this is really how you can help them see how each role uniquely contributes to making the whole work together so now that you've done that your painted picture really energizes them and really watch how when you do that, we've seen it time and time again, you will have kind of passive sort of B players who are kind of showing up, but not really at a higher level. Suddenly you see them become visionaries and rock stars like you never thought that they would be able to. And then they jump in and help you build your future. So this is a hugely important piece. I know sometimes it's really intimidating to get in there, especially if you're feeling like, hey, this is far from where I am right now. But I really encourage you to get the education that you need to really master this art of writing a vision and sharing it with your team. So I hope this helps. Have a fabulous week. Make sure that you check out our brand new training out there because it goes into all this in detail. Go to bulletproofbusinessgrowth.com slash leap. Bulletproofbusinessgrowth.com slash leap. Also, we have a new book out there. So I'll put that link into the post so that you can download the book. The book is all about how to build your self-led team so that you can make your run smoothly completely without you. Go check that out. And I'll see you next time.